Hi everyone. Uh, you can't see me very well. It's probably um, quite dark in here. Um, and my glasses are dark because I've just been outside. And this is where I'm going to take I'm going to pop you outside into the garden do a, a, another quick um, garden tour because some things have um, happened since the last one. So I'll just take you out there quickly. Excuse my messy kitchen. So we're just going out the door. Excuse that mess, that's next door's garage, it's an awful mess. So we're just going out here. Um, down here, um, these are supposed to be um, snowdrops, but they're um, quite different to the usual snowdrops, because all the other snowdrops that came out earlier have now died away, but these are just sort of coming to the end, end of their life now. Um, my hyacinths grew, sort of, um, and they're just coming to the end now. Um, I planted seeds into my troughs down here. These are the ones that were, because I, I left the soil in that was in there last year and just topped it up a little bit and just turned it over. These were what self-grown and what was still in there. And I have planted some, I don't know if you can see, there are some growing, uh, growing through already. Those are self-grown, they just come back year after year. Um, this one is coming through really well. These are, what are they? Um, Love in the Mist and, oh, the not Liberia. Oh, I can't think what it's called. I'll come back to that. Um, this is uh, yeah. I can't. <laughs> My memory's gone. I can't think what I was going to say. It is Twisted Willow. That's it. So that's really coming on now. This bush. I don't know what's happening with that. Um, Maybe it might get trimmed back. This one's out in flower, which um, we didn't see anything of in the last one um, because it dies off. Each year it dies off down the base and then this all comes up as new growth. So this is in flower. I can't remember what, it, what this one's called. I'm terrible about names. In here we have a mixed flower mix that's neat, neat waiting to come up. That is, is the same as well, and that one. In here, we have a similar uh, flower mix. It's one of these um, ones that you get in the tubs that you can just shake all over the place. Here, there's not very much going on. There is, if you look down here, my ferns are growing. These are new fern that will um, open up like this. I mean it gets really tall, it gets to about sort of this height which gets quite tall. Um, this is growing back up, it's like just a, a grass. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Um, this just this is just a green, a green plant that doesn't really do anything, it's just green. This is, I think I told you last time, this is um, a fern no, it isn't a fern, it's a fir tree that my husband grown from seed. And you can see it's got lots of new new growth coming here and on the ends. Right, we'll take you down the garden now where we can see some of the new things that have come out. Um, this plant has flower buds on, but I'm not sure if you will see them there, I don't know if you can see. It does have buds on, but that'll be a little while before that one's out. We have flowers on this one, which I think was just green last time I showed you it. It's very, very pretty. I hope no one can hear me, because I feel really silly walking around the garden talking. <laughs> uh, this is a flowering current, which is just about finished. Um, I was debating when to bring you out again and uh, some of it is 
sort of um, was out in flower a few days ago uh, and now it's just sort of dying off again. Here we have my son's apple tree which he planted from, seed, from an apple seed when he was about six years old. Now as you can see we've got lots and lots of flowers on it this year. I think last year we only had about um, four flowers on it. As you can see there's flowers on most on most of the branches as you can see. And over here. Okay. This is the little bush um, I don't know what it's called. I'm actually, there's a ticket down here. It might tell me what it's called. Oh, it's called a Berberis. You can see that. I mean, it has, it has these little tiny yellow, yellow and red flowers on it. They're just coming out. Um, you see, if you can see that one, that is, that is out. They are very tiny flowers. Now this I wanted to show you, but it's um, that we had a lot of wind here last night, and it has blown quite a few of the flowers off. But if you look down here, this one is in full flower. This smells absolutely gorgeous. I just wish you could smell it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is. never remember what it's called but it's coming out into into leaf now this is just a leafy tree it doesn't uh, flower at all I'm going to have to tell you I'm going to have to put a little notice on when I put the video up of what it's called because I just can't remember just at this minute but the leaves around here this obviously gets more sun here this is out in really out in leaf here. In in the winter, well the autumn time, these go a lovely red brown colour. Down here, we just have some troughs that have got sort of like um, these like wildflower mix. That um, when they've grown up a little bit, I dot them around the the garden in different places. Down here we have this was grown from a. Um, layered plant it had grown down like this one of the pieces and I pegged it down and you've got a new a new bu uh, bush grow up and it is a wood something no gone again I should have to notice that on for you as well this is my climbing rose um, I had a really nice new shoot coming up here you can see my dog jumped on it and broke it so it's not it was nice shoot growing out this way you know that's um, like this way so hence the the little white fence so you can't jump on it anymore this has some tiny tiny little buds coming on it um, you can see those it's a while before those come out um, this bush has white flowers on it but as you can see it didn't do very well this year and I don't know why um, absolutely no idea why it didn't do very well but as you can see this is the holly tree and if I look closely down here you can see it has some flower buds coming on it this holly bush, uh, there's some here as well. This holly bush, uh, that's my dog, has berries on um, about September time. For some reason, it doesn't have the berries at Christmas. This you saw in the last video was coming out into flower. It's now ending its flowering season. Yeah. This bush doesn't flower it just has the red and green leaves on it all year round this one is growing at the moment um, oh, there, there are some flower buds on there just in the center there but they'll be a long time coming out yet 
this is in well into flower. Now what is this called? Can't think. I know what that plant was down the garden now. There's another one here. It's called dogwood. In the autumn, this wood here all goes a really dark burgundy red. Dog's barking at something. I think somebody's at the door probably. Um, and there we are, back round to here. This will have some flowers on in, um, in time. These are lupins. Right there. And then we're back round to here. And that is what is going on in the garden at the moment. There's herbs coming up, growing. So there you go. Um, I hope there's some plants up there as well. I hope you've enjoyed um, this little bit of a garden tour. And, uh, you know, it's a, an update on the last one. So um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.